गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून गुड इवनिंग फ्रॉम विच एवर लोकेशन यू आर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो अ वेरी 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 वॉम वेलकम टू क्वेस्ट यूट्यूब चैनल एंड फर्स्ट थिंग लेट मी स्टार्ट विद से वेरी वेरी हैप्पी न्यू ईयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स लॉर्ड ऑफ थिंग्स हैपन इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फाइव ऑल पॉजिटिव थिंग्स हैव हैपन इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फाइव ऑन क्वेस्ट राइट एंड विल डिस्कस ऑल अबाउट दैट एंड ऑल्सो विल डिस्कस अबाउट वॉट वी एम टू डू इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स राइट so in 2025 we launched approximately 7 courses we were updating lot of videos at the back like the interview question videos the azure videos right but on the training front you know we launched 7 courses out there with the help of three trainers me guru sir and pradeep sir right uh, and all the seven trainings i'm flashing on the screen out there and if you look at the number of hours these hours are are large actually like 50 hours 20 hours right so quite in depth training out there i hope that uh, you have enjoyed all of these videos recordings as well as the trainings right so in this video what we'll be discussing is that we'll be discussing about what happened in 2025 what videos were launched and what courses we did and what is the plan for 2026 i will sum it up what i'll what is my plan for 2026 in 2026 my plan is only focusing on two important things ai ml for c sharp developers right how can we migrate our developers into that ai ml front and the second one is cloud and more cloud because the jobs around the cloud are are, are really coming up nicely see we already have the videos for asp.net mvc we are already having the videos for react we are already having the videos for angular and sql server so those trainings those interview questions you can keep looking at but our plan is that to see that our complete community we migrate to this this two new things out there ai ml and cloud right so let us get started what happened in 2025 and let us talk about these seven trainings what we have done so if you see in this year right the first training you know which is really near to my heart is the microservices architecture training right this training we started in the uh, in almost uh, you can see 19 7 2025 almost in the mid of the year and in this you know what we did is we covered lot of topics of microservices uh, we did ddd we did cqrs if you remember we looked into rabbit mq we looked into resiliency patterns and and all that i'm flashing you know the syllabus on the screen there right in this you know we have like 21 hours of training guys 21 hours of super training with a project and if you're looking at starting with microservices then this is the project this is the course i will say you should be looking into now the next focus in 2025 was cloud cloud and azure cloud right and i'm so proud to say that we have two trainings you know which we have finished and i'll tell you that why we have two trainings of azure actually i'll say we have three trainings of azure actually one is azure basic to advance because see today when you're going for a job out there and specifically if you're a c sharp or a dotnet developer azure is must and must in your cv and i and i'm not talking about the training which is certification i'm talking about the real training you should really know azure you should really know the concepts you should really know the costing right so that's why you know we have this azure basic to advanced this training actually went on for the whole year actually for the whole year it went on because if you see it started almost in 2024 mid and it went on till 2025 february that means until february we did it 53 hours of training covering super topics out there if you see if you just go through the go through the thing right uh, the virtual machine the telemetry uh, you can see your serverless function app logic app file storages authentication authorization also we did certification questions right azure ai ml devops right uh, we covered docker and kubernetes and uh, uh, we looked into api m adf uh, networking firewall now tell me you know like what do you more want it right so if you're looking at really starting with azure then this training should be looked into right but at the same time what i did is i recorded a crash course i'll tell you why because you know remember that on quest pond you know i meet daily people uh, online so one of the things in the 5 year subscription plan is that you can meet me you can uh, review your resume right i can take your mock interview and 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 with that you know we can judge that how much you prepared for the interview and what i found one of the things one of the feedback was a uh, shave like you know you have the 50 hours of training i don't have time for that so what we did is we recorded a super duper crash course of 10 hours so if somebody is having a training or somebody is having an interview i'm sorry uh, in the coming let's say 4 uh, 5 days he can just plan out this 10 hours and he should be good right so 
this year the first important thing the focus was microservices and azure and there is one more training you know which was which is really again near to my heart and which is which is taken by gurunath sir right uh, and this is the azure data factory training and uh, people who have attended guru sir's training out here you would come to know that how in depth guru sir had gone in this azure data factory training i'm so proud about him right as a trainer who is associated with questmont almost 24 hours of super adf training if you're looking at extraction transformation loading right if you're looking at starting with azure data factory then this training is what you should be looking at right and the other training which is again taken by my dear friend out here pradeep seth sir the react training out here react 19 training uh, step by step training right you can see again this is almost 15 hours of training and also pradeep sir had completed one more training which is the asp.net.net 8 training out here which again is almost 15 16 hours of training right so really if i look at this year right in this year uh, our focus was to look at cloud and microservices right so azure cloud and microservices and in azure we want to really go in depth as well as we want to look into data so we have these the data factory training and the azure training here you know we wanted to also do the new dotnet 8 and all the new features so pradeep seth has pradeep seth sir has taken that training also if you see uh, the react training again which is there remember we have lot of angular training guys you can look at pradeep seth's training you can look at the angular step by step for beginners right so that's why you know this year we did not focus on angular as such but as yes, we found that react was quite outdated and we focused on that and the last training which we started 2 3 months back and this training is again the most important training is the ai ml for c sharp developers remember we have completed almost 13 hours of training we are planning almost 30 hours of training in this ai ml for c sharp developers right if you are a c sharp developer and if you want to get into ai ml this training is for you because this training is not like the other training where people start with python i did not do that what i did is that i started with ml.net with c sharp i explained you the basic concept so if you look at it c sharp ai ml right we started we started with the fundamentals out here and then i gradually switched to python you can see here so once you have understood the concepts you know the features the labels and this and that regression right and then by gradually i i i moved to python and from python now we are going more in depth into machine learning right so this this course if you are looking at saying that okay like in my cv one of the things which is missing is ai ml then that's what it is right and remember our 2026 focus is mostly around this our 2026 focus is mostly again on two things lot of azure more in depth azure more advanced azure must be certification and all right we would like to cover right and the second thing is ai ml ai and ml and ai ml why because the market is asking for it right and also with this uh, seven trainings you know which we have launched in 2025 one more thing you know which i want to highlight out here is that we have updated lot of pre recorded videos right for example on shishap interview questions right i have uploaded very important videos uh, which are again asked in the shishap interviews right also the azure step by step videos i have started uploading pre recorded videos you should watch out they are coming out very excellently we have also updated asp.net and many other videos out there which i am not which i have not tracked actually but almost this year you know i have pushed almost 30 to 40 pre recorded good videos out there and i and i hope that you are watching the same right so what is in 2026 in 2026 my focus is ai ml if you are a c sharp developer i want to create a path that how you can migrate or i will say how you can add i will say rather you can't i don't want you to migrate from uh, the full stack right but add one of the things you know which is the ai ml into your portfolio right so we have started this training you know last uh, in the last one and a half month and i hope that this complete year will continue with this training and i'll tell you if you just watch this ai ml training you are done you should be done with ai ml you should re- you will really know how to create the projects and so on right so that's the focus for 2026 and definitely more training should be coming azure would be coming uh, we are planning blazor as well right and uh, many other trainings we are planning please put down on the chat below that what more pre recorded videos you want to look into right so i hope everyone that this 2026 we again focus more aggressively 
we upgrade ourselves and don't forget you can always connect to me one to one you can always review your resume you can always take a mock interview because once you take a mock interview once you talk to me right you will understand how to use this complete teachables properly how to use the videos properly which video to follow and so on right so i'm looking forward for a very bright 2026 right 2025 as well as 2024 lot of layoffs have happened but i'm sure that if we upgrade ourselves if we keep learning ourselves 2026 would sail off very nicely so happy learning happy job hunting and a very happy new year to everyone